quello che effettivamente è, è un sogno eh, potrebbe essere quello di magari un giorno fare una missione oltre l'orbita bassa quindi non so magari in spazio ci lunare in questo spazio tra la terra e la luna e intorno alla luna dove sono adesso proprio in, in, in fase di definizione delle, delle missioni che vorremmo portare a termine verso la metà del, del prossimo decennio. And what comes after the International Space Station once its mission is over? How do we ensure the presence of humans in space? Well, that's a great question. Uh, the plan that NASA has is to build a rocket called SLS, which is a heavy lift rocket. It's something that is, that is much bigger than what we have today, and it will be able to launch the Orion capsule with humans on board, as well as uh, landers or other uh, components to, via to destinations beyond Earth orbit. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to and we're building these building block components in order to allow us to do that eventually. We are headed 3,600 miles above Earth, 15 times higher from the planet than the International Space Station. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Incredibile, vero? Nel 1968, con una capsula e vestita di alluminio di pochi millimetri, i nostri tre intrepidi eroi attraversarono le fasce di Van Allen. Oggi invece è impossibile. Ma cosa facciamo? La tecnologia retrocede? Ma a questo punto ascoltiamo l'astronauta Alec Bean in missione dell'Apollo 12 che cosa dice riguardo l'attraversamento delle fasce di Van Allen. Any ill effects from the Van Allen radiation belts? No, now I'm not sure we went far enough out to, to encounter the Van Allen radiation belt. Maybe we did. The belts are 1,000 miles to 25,000 miles above so the Earth. We, then we went right out through them.